Hi all and welcome to Orologic. Today we are going to unwrap, to unbox these Tsar Bomba. And first of all, let me tell you that the name is not reminiscent of anything good. However, I hope the watch is. First of all, when I saw this watch on AliExpress, I was not really interested, as it's, let's face it, an obnoxious style. It copies the style of the Richard Mille, which is a style that I do not like very much, that is, well, really, really flashy and not my style, really. But there's interest in this watch, apparently, so I'm going to unbox it, and if enough people are interested, I will do a full review. All right, let's get right into it. Okay, the box. We have what appears to be a, a, little, a little bit better than a cardboard box, and you see that you have the Tsar logo and the writing Tsar Bomba. Okay, let's go. Oof, what happened there? Something happened. Oof. Yeah, it appears to have suffered during the travel. Okay. All right. Wow, this is big. <laughs> This is a big watch. Okay, there is no wrapping in here, which is a bit strange. All right, we have, let's see what you get in the package. You've got the two year international warranty. That's, that's pretty good. And it's, is it signed? No, it's not signed in good AliExpress style. And, uh, well, yeah, you've got the warranty and instructions in case you should want all right okay let's not bother with these let's go directly to the watch let's see what we have here well from a construction point of view this looks pretty good let me tell you the shape is the classic shape you would see on a richer meal of course, um, everything has been uh, taken from Richard Mille, basically, style-wise, with this tonneau-shaped case, um, with these apparent screws, well, they're... Uh, I, I don't think they're, they screw anything, or maybe they screw just in part, but I don't think all of them uh, are functional. Um, with these, uh, if you go to the dial with these split numbers, as you can see, check the 10, check the 8, check the 7, check the 5, all of them are split in half. And this kind of skeletonized movement, uh, as you can see here, the movement has not been skeletonized uh, because it's, this is the coarse movement. So uh, you could, I guess you could make a skeleton out of a quartz movement, but uh, that wouldn't be really interesting, would it? And the movement here is the Seiko VK67, which is a very good mecha quartz movement. All of the timekeeping functions are regulated by a quartz movement per se, and the chronograph is a mechanical movement. Let me show you. All right, let's press the chronograph with this big pusher here. Okay, as you can see the chronograph, the chronograph hand starts to move, very good. And as you can see, you've got a mechanical sweep to that movement. I think it takes five times a second. It is hard for me to say sorry. All right. But the thing with this movement, well, it operates like a usual chronograph, so you push the start stop button and then you reset it to zero, but it has something particular. You can start it again and you can, it has a kind of a flyback function and boom, see? If you push the reset button, it resets to zero, but contrary to the, your classical flyback, it does not restart at zero, it stays there. So it has the second register at six, 
with date window right next to it at 4.30. You've got your minute counter at 12 where the minute progresses. Finally at 9 you've got a small register which is registered for hours. So basically with this one you could measure with the chronograph you could measure up to 12 hours. What else do you have in here? Well, a quite complex dial as you can see. I already mentioned the uh, cutout numbers. I did not mention however the Tsar Bomba lettering and logo printed at 3. I did not also do dimensions. Let's go. Let's check dimensions here. <laughs> Prepare to be amazed. All right, you've got a diameter of 43.4 at the highest point of these uh, tono shape, 43.3, and that is of course not counting the crowns. You've got a height, a whopping height of 17.6, a log to log of 50.8. You've got these kind of bow shapes at the peripheries of the case. These shapes are followed through the sides of the watch and you can see them as well at the very edges at the bottom of the watch. So a pretty coherent design there. On the other side you have the pushers and you have the sign crown with the T from Tsar, of course, and uh, you've got a red stainless steel. This is a very large crown, and the nerding is a bit curved. It looks like a whirlwind, actually. Pretty cool. Let's talk finishings to this case. You've got a vertical brushing on the front. You've got a polished bevel dividing the front and the sides of the watch. And at the sides you've got one first layer that is prominent and that has some vertical brushing on it. The brushing is not amazing but it's fine. And then you've got some bead blasting all over the sides of this watch. And then of course you've got the same finish on the salient part that you've got on top. Uh, the bottom of the watch, and this is a good point with Richard Mills, is that their bottom is curved, so uh, they do conform to the wrist better. This appears to have taken a middle ground. It is flat, let's say, for a few centimeters, and then it will curve at the end. We'll see how that wears. Let's check the back, and at the back we've got Tsar Bomba, again the logo, uh, it seems to have been laser etched, it says all stainless steel, 50mm resistant, Japan movement, talking about the VK67, and sapphire glass. We will test that, don't worry. They say we have sapphire in here, let's check that. And we do have sapphire, wonderful. As you can see, this watch does have loom, however, it only has it on the hour and minute hand. It would have been cool to see some loom on that outer ring, but well, that's nothing that we should complain for at this price point. Let's talk about the bracelet. Well, the bracelet appears to be silicone. It is red in this instance. There is a blue and a black version, I believe and they come matched with the other elements as well. It is pretty thick when it meets the thick case and it slims down of course as does the as it does in width as well so nothing special it is the other design is matches the watch which is pretty good I suppose uh, and you've got the buckle which is Pretty good, uh, stainless steel, longitudinally brushed with the Tsar Bomba writing in there. So, not bad. And now, for the finish, we'll see how this watch wears. I'm a bit scared. Alright, this is something you will certainly not see me wear. No, not so much for the aspect when you look at it from the front, but when you look at it from the side. Take a look at that. It's like having a car on your wrist. Come on. They could have made a small effort 
and uh, made it a bit thinner. I guess that all the rest is okay, but it could, come on, it could have been thinner. Uh, knowing this movement it, and the water resistance of 50 meters, it could have easily been thinner. This is deliberate. They wanted to make it this thick. I don't know if the Richard Mills are this thick. Uh, let me know in the comments. I don't actually know. Well, anyway, this is not something that you can go out and wear just casually. All right, I think you got it. I'm not the biggest fan of this watch, although I can understand that some people would be attracted to this style. Of course, I'm going to be leaving links to this watch on AliExpress. You can get it now for around 150 euros. It should be about the same in dollars, I suppose. So go ahead and check that if this watch interests you. A pretty well-made watch, I must say that, even though I'm not, I don't like the style. It's pretty well made with good materials and a wonderful movement, so it has that going for itself. Besides that, the style, well, that's a very personal matter. With that said, guys, thank you very much for having watched this video. Why don't you go and check one of these two? And why don't you subscribe to the channel? That would be wonderful and I would be really thankful. Okay, thank you very much and I'll be seeing you very soon in one of these videos. Goodbye.